Hello YouTube! Just wanted to share with you some tips about mounting uh, tires on aluminum rims using the Harbor Freight manual tire changer. Uh, my son and I have done a good number of these and we've learned some tricks that we'd love to share with you. So first trick that I'll show you is we've got our rim here. It's a BMW 15 inch rim, a typical passenger tire. And we've broken down the bead with the, with the breakdown tool. I won't bother with that in this video. So the, the bead's broken off both sides of the rim. And then uh, the key thing that we've got is we've got this mount demount head, which I'll, I'll put in the link of where you can get this from Amazon. It's a little, uh, I think it's about a $15 tool that you can add to the Harbor Freight um, tire changer tool and make it a, almost a touch free, make it much kinder to your aluminum rims so you'll never have metal touching, uh, touching aluminum when you're mounting and demounting. And we found this works great on uh, passenger tire rims and relatively, uh, it doesn't damage the paint or the finish. So, but first, first tip I'll show you though, is uh, we found that if you cut a piece off an old tire, then it helps you protect the rim here. So if you push this down on, on this guy, before you put your rim stop on, by the way, uh, as a, a better, uh, better than what the Harbor Freight tool is, is just the old 3 8 socket wrench. Drop that in like that, and it locks into the, locks into the, uh, the lug nut hole a little bit better than their tool. And so we have this piece here, a nice thick piece of rubber. The thing goes on the, uh, the spider here that locks it down. So then you can rotate that on and you can see that this isn't gonna touch the rim and it's got a lot of cushion. So it isn't gonna put a dent in the rim or anything like that. So we'll spin this down and cinch the tire down, same way you normally do here. So pop this down, move it down fairly tight. I like to have it fairly tight. Now the important thing here, here too is thinking about which way you want to rotate. So I'm going to rotate around this way. So I've already got the tire pulled this way. So I'll tighten it down some, cinch it a little bit, not, not big time. The next thing you do is whatever, use whatever kind of lubricant you want. On this one, I'm just going to use, uh, I've got some silicon spray. Um, now, if you're doing this for, uh, for, your, for a mounting thing, you might want to use a, uh, soaking water, or a lot of people use that. That's fine, I just used what was handy. Now, I'll show, you, I'll show you the tip for this tool. So we have this tool, and I just took a 5 16th bolt, that's an inch and a half. I drilled a hole. I drilled a hole through the end of this tire changer bar, the standard one that comes with the Harbor Freight tool. And so I drilled that hole through, put this bolt in here. Now the, the, what you'll see is I'll show you, this is the demount method, and then to mount it, you move it to the other side, and you rotate, rotate it the other way. So I'll show you the demount first. So we pop this in, put this bolt on here, put the nut on it. It doesn't have to be cinched down tight. In fact, you want it to rotate. So put this dude down here, and then you're gonna put it into the rim. We're gonna rotate it, uh, let's see here, this way. So, whoops, in fact, I wanna rotate it the other way here. There we go, we're gonna rotate it the other way from what I say. So we put this down here. We've got our lubricant on here. We take our other, uh, you know, classic Harbor Freight tire iron here. These are, I think they're six bucks or so at Harbor Freight. You take this tool, and see you're not gonna touch the rim. You got this little ridge right here that's made to go underneath. So you move this into the center, so you can get this down. Now to get this to wedge over, usually you'll have to move your rim over the drop center here. And see, we move this up like this. Move this down some. Let's see if I did this right way. Yeah. We move this up like this. Get it to come over the top. Now, oops. Maybe I'll, I'll tell you what, Dave, I'll have you. Well, let me leave it here for a second. Okay. And then what, uh, what you usually do is you need something. Mm -hmm. Just hold that for me for yep. one second. Something that's a little bit plastic. Let me have to hit, have you hit pause for a sec there. All right, so sorry about that momentary pause. I forgot to get this little tool here. A little, just a little piece of nylon or a little piece of wood. You need to stick right here so that it will keep this tire from from backing off the rim as you spin over. So now at this point, you can start to move this thing over and you can get your tire iron out of the way here. Let's see if I can pop this dude over here. 
This is a spot where you gotta be a little careful. You don't have it ping off your rim. There we go. Snap that down. And uh, I like to put a little bit of lubricant right in here. There we go. And let's do let's do a little bit more so it can hit that. All right. And now we've got our, our plastic here. And now check this out. We just move this, this guy, like this. We walk our way around the rim. We have to push this down a little bit into the into the drop center on the rim. Working our way around. And bam, we're off the rim. And then at the end, you just rotate it a little bit to pop it out. And nothing touched. Now, the next thing is to get the other side, you lift it up and you, and you um, put the same thing in. So you, you'll put it over here and you'll take the hook. I'll show you the Take the hook side of this guy and you'll drop him down, lift it over this tire the same way you did before, and twist it off. So I won't show you that for, for brevity, uh, but it's the same process. Now let's go ahead and do a mount. Let's say we want to mount this rim. So normally you can pop the first bead over just by wedging it over. Now we'll set up our tool here for mounting, and what you do is you move it to the other side. You move it to this side, Rebolt it. Okay, everything's all lubricated. Uh, lubricate it with the soap or whatever you like. Then you put this guy over here. And at this point, okay, I remember what I'm doing. This point, yeah, put this guy down like this. Put him inside the rim here. You can get, oh, there we go. Hang on. Like that. Okay, then we, we have this cat. Just, we just bring him up over the top again. Oops, I don't think I did it right. Hang on. Move this down. There we go. And we move this in like this. See how this is moving? Check this out. Just work your way around. You're going to push it into the drop center part of the rim so you have enough room. Just keep working your way around. Work your way around. See how smooth it is? And bam, it's on the rim. So now what you do at this point, you're at the, you're, you have just this tool to get out. And this nut right here has a tendency to want to hit. So I usually get a little piece of cloth or something, and then we move this out like that. And then you can get your tool to come out here. Oops, maybe. Done. She's back on the rim. And look at that. No contact with metal. And so I just wanted to show you that. Like I said, I'll post the link to where you get this tool from Amazon. It's part of another tire changer tool. And uh, thank you for watching.